Hi, my name is Christian. Uh, thank you for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to teach you how to uncover valuable domain names. Uh, so I'm going to show you a way to quickly crunch through up to 500 words at a time using the GoDaddy bulk registration tool. But we're going to couple it with the Google keyword tool. We're going to use the, the Google keyword tool to give us a list of valuable keyword phrases and we're going to pop that into the, the uh, bulk domain registration tool and it's going to give us uh, what hasn't been registered. Uh, it's a good way of, of quickly uh, just seeing if you're going to be able to get a leg up uh, in the SEO uh, search engine rankings uh, for a potential site. Uh, we're going to use phishing as an example. Uh, pretend you wanted to uh, do a phishing blog. Uh, first, we're going to go to the Google Keyword Tool. There it is in the drop-down. I'm going to click on it. That's a first result. Okay, it's loading the Google Keyword Tool. Now, I have an, I have an account, <clears throat> and I'm not logged in, uh, because uh, most of you probably don't have an account. If you don't have an account, it's going to limit you to 100 results. If you have an account, it'll limit you to like 800 or something pretty crazy. So... Uh, we're just going to do the uh, the 100 here. Uh, put in fishing. I'm just going to start real general. We'll put in fishing. Okay, there's our list of a hundred keyword tool or keyword keywords uh, related to fishing. Uh, we're going to sort this by global monthly searches. Uh, just get it <clears throat> nice and organized for us. Uh, the higher up uh, you are in these. Uh, these keywords, the more traffic it gets clearly. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to download this list of keywords and then we're going to pop it into that uh, GoDaddy uh, bulk domain name registration tool. Okay, we're going to download all 100. I don't have Excel and so I'm going to download just the CSV file, the comma delimited list, uh, because I have numbers for Mac instead of Excel. Uh, but if you have Excel, download uh, the CSV for Excel. Uh, otherwise, uh, pretty much any uh, spreadsheet is going to open a, just a CSV. So I would go with just CSV if you don't have Excel. Okay, and it, download, it just took seconds to download. Now I'm going to open it up, and it should automatically open in my spreadsheet tool. There we go. Okay, and as you can see, it preserved our uh, what we selected in the Google Keyword Tool uh, as far as the sort order uh, from the most uh, searches globally to the least. Uh, and so we, we want that because we want to copy out this uh, list of keywords, and we, we really want to keep it uh, organized that way. So when we get our results, they're, in, in, they're organized, and you just know the first one you come to that's... Uh, that's good is going to have uh, the most traffic and we'll work our way down from there. Uh, the, so right now really all we're, we're worried about is we just want to get this this list of keywords. So I'm going to left click and copy. <clears throat> just copy that list of keywords. Okay, now we're done with the spreadsheet. We really don't care about the spreadsheet at this point. So I'm just going to close it. Okay, now that I've, I've copied that list of keywords, I'm going to go to the uh, go to GoDaddy, uh, just GoDaddy.com, and don't worry about this right here, it'll automatically add that, just type in GoDaddy.com and go, go to GoDaddy. You're going to highlight domains, okay, this is the, the menu that we're interested in. The third menu item down is Bulk Domain Registration, so click on Bulk Domain Registration. You don't need an account to get to it, it'll load it without, if even if you don't have an account with them. Again, you're just going to paste in your list of uh, keywords. Okay, now see it's all, i got 100 keywords in there. Okay, now uh, over here we're going to select .com, .net, .org. Those are the only ones that I really uh, care about. Uh, some people will do .info, .me. Um, I only have experience with doing .com, .net, and .org. I, I had really good results with that in past years, and so I just kind of stuck with that. But uh, I've read numerous posts of people saying that uh, 
dot infos or dot me is where ranking for them. Uh, not sure. In my experience, dot com, dot net, dot org, so I stick with that. I click search. And it's just going to see in just seconds, it crunches through that whole list of 100 keywords, which would have taken you forever to do one by one. Uh, and that, so there's, you know, clearly there's, there's the power of it. You can just crunch through huge lists. Okay, so here are the results. Out of that whole 100, we've got about 15 or, or so that uh, are not registered. Okay, kayak fishing, that's not going to work. We want something more general, right? We're, we're just doing a, a blog on, on fishing. So uh, big game fish, yeah, maybe you know, if, you're, uh, if you're into fishing for, for big game, but probably uh, want to go more general. We go down you know, fish tank pump, uh, probably not fishing techniques. Yeah, that would be perfect. That would, that, for the type of blog that I would have in mind, would be uh, people who who want to learn about fishing techniques, and um, you know maybe you want to sell uh, info products on uh, on fishing techniques, uh, or uh, maybe specific bass bass fishing or trout fishing. Uh, it's a nice general one, uh, but it would work well for a blog. I, I, I would. For me, that would work. The fact that it's a .org, um, it doesn't matter to me because I've, I've I've gotten .orgs and .nets to rank well for me. And I think that once a person just clicks on, you know, they do a search, they they, they find a result that matches their their search, they click on it. They don't really care whether it's a .org or .net. In my experience, uh, okay. So we're gonna go back over to the keyword tool because we want to make sure it, it gets enough traffic uh, in order to to really consider. So. We've got a, I'll just highlight fishing techniques, and I'll copy it, I'll, I'll just Command C or Control C on a PC, and uh, I'm using uh, the Chrome browser, and if I hit Command F, I can, I can find, I'm just, you can just use your eyes, but I like to uh, do it a little quicker, I'll paste it in there, fishing techniques, okay, well I didn't find it on this page, so it must be on the next page. Uh, this is uh, the 1 through 50 results, and I'm going to page, go to the next page of 50 through 100 results, and check that again. Okay, fishing techniques, here it is, it's at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to look over here, uh, global monthly searches, 33,000, uh, local, 22,000. It looks like pretty good search volume to me. Um, that would, if I was going to do a blog on fishing techniques, I probably would would buy this one. Um, uh, you know, it's only going to cost you like nine dollars, something like that, to register it. And uh, I, I would, I would probably build a site, maybe like five pages, and do a little link building. Um, but to rank for fishing techniques, probably wouldn't, wouldn't take that much. Uh, it might. It, 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 it probably. This would just give you a big leg up. You would, you would need to do maybe a little bit more research on uh, what kind of competition you would have there, but. Uh, but the purpose of this demonstration is just the power of being able to crunch through these huge lists and uncover uh, possibilities. Uh, another tool <clears throat> that I want to show you here is uh, the uh, Domains Bot uh, tool. And it's just D O M A I N S B O T dot com, Domains Bot. Uh, say you were going to do a site. Uh, on uh, dog training, uh, you would just type in dog training, and even as you do it, it, it shows you below uh, the results. Uh, instead of having again, you know, just a way of speeding things up. Finding domain names takes can take forever, and so this is just a way to really automate things, go a lot quicker. A lot of times, I'll open up all the all three of these at the same time, and uh, <clears throat> as I have ideas, I may type them in here. Uh, I'll start with a general idea like uh, fishing and um, see what comes up. Uh, let me do one more for you here, uh, just to show you how it works again. Uh, we'll, we'll say you wanted to go real niched and do beagle, beagle, beagle barking, barking, barking. Okay, you could get beaglebarking.com. Of course, it's probably not a lot of search volume for that, so it's probably not the greatest. The greatest, but uh, again, it's, this is just all about how to how to use these powerful tools. If you like this video, please click the like button or comment. And if you'd like to learn more about making money online, then click the link in the description field below. Thank you.